Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising. I'm your leader, the Defy One, aka Bashar Queen Four, and today I am bringing you some Karakora leaks. We have three new megas on our hands, all of which I am very excited for. I just woke up, so my commentary will probably be lackluster. But anyways, let's jump into it. We're going to start with Mega Gallade, since the other two kind of go as a pair. Mega Gallade was definitely necessary, especially after God of War received. A Mega Evolution in Pokemon X and Y, and Galley did not, which pushed Gardevoir way above Mega Galley's usefulness. So now we're going to take a quick look at Galley's regular base stats, and with that, I'm going to make a theory as to what Gal Mega Galley's base stats will actually be. Galley's base stats are HP 68, Attack 125, Defense 65, Special Attack 65, Special Defense 115, and Speed 80. I personally think, judging by the appearance, that there's less armor on Mega Galley than there typically was, and the size of his blades have also increased. So I feel like there's going to be a, bo a huge boost to both speed and attack, a small drop in defense due to the lack of armor that he once possessed. Other than that, it's pretty much going to be the exact same. I really feel like that's the case. Special attack might get a slight increase, maybe by 20 points at the very most, but other than that, I'm pretty sure that it's just going to be a boost in both attack and speed. And I will put my idea as to what the base stats could possibly be on the screen right now. Next we move on to the dynamic duo, I guess you could say. Because these two Pokemon, everybody expected this. Because these two Pokemon are the mascots of both Team Magma and Team Aqua respectively from left to right. We have Mega Camerupt. Mega Camerupt looks like a complete tank. It is packing the ability Sheer Force, which is not a bad ability by any means. And if we were to look at its base stats, you have base stat, uh, your HP is 70, attack 100, base stat of 70 for defense, 105 special attack, 75 special defense, and speed is 40. I feel like Mega Camerupt is going to get slower. I feel like it's going to get bulkier. I think that its defense and special defense are going to see an increase with slight increases in both attack and uh, special attack. I think it's going to be a very well-rounded Pokemon. I really do. Now, I'm, uh, I will also put my idea for Mega Camera Space Stats down below his base stat, uh, ma below regular Camera Space Stats, pardon me. Now, moving on to Mega Sharpedo. Mega Sharpedo has been... I've been long awaited for this because I've always preferred Archie as opposed to Maxi. I think Sharpedo's design looks extremely menacing, and now Mega Sharpedo also looks extremely menacing. And it has the ability Strong Jaw, which is definitely a downgrade from Speed Boost. However, I cannot complain about that. Uh, if we were to take a look at regular Sharpedo's base stats, it has base 70 HP, base 120 attack, defense, and special defense are both 40. Special attack is 95, and speed is also 95. I feel like judging by its design, its attack power is going to go up, its special attack is going to go up slightly, and its speed is going to see a huge leap, especially after losing the speed boost ability. That is my own personal opinion. I really love Sharpedo's design, I really do. Uh, they weren't far off with the fan-made designs, as a matter of fact, for Mega Camera Up or Mega Sharpedo. I think that they're just great, but like I said with the other two, I'm going to leave my theory for the base stats down below regular Sharpedo's base stats, and if you guys have any theories as to what the base stats might be yourself, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And if you want to enlist the rebellion, all you have to do is sucker punch that subscribe button and heck sucker punch that like button. Every little bit will help, and I will be back with bigger and better Pokemon videos, so until next time, you guys.